Counting calories is a good way to lose weight, but how do you know how many calories are in the food you eat, especially some of your family favorite recipes? And what if your doctor tells you that you have to watch your cholesterol intake? Or what if you're diabetic and you have to count carbs? How do you know how many carbs or cholesterol or calories are in your family favorite recipes? Figuring that out by hand can be pretty tedious, but with cooking, it's simple. Earlier today, I entered this spicy orange chicken stir fry recipe. It's a good one. It's yummy. And I was curious to know how many calories are in that. So with cooking, I just click nutrition on the toolbar, and it tells me. Looks like it's 222 calories per serving, which is 11% of my daily value. So that's pretty decent. Cooking will tell you the nutritional values of the recipes that you enter. In fact, it'll tell you the nutritional values for any recipe. For example, let's say I search the web for chocolate cake. And this recipe here, by all recipes, seems like a good one. So what I'm going to do is click Capture on the toolbar to pull it into my Cook and Recipe Organizer software. And I'm going to save it in the Sweets and Desserts chapter of the DVO.com cookbook. That looks pretty good. And if I want to figure out how many calories are in this, or cholesterol or carbs, I just click Nutrition on the toolbar. And cooking goes through and figures out the nutritional value of that recipe. 536 calories, 22 grams of fat, 170 milligrams of cholesterol, and 80 carbs. That's pretty cool. And that's a recipe I just found on the internet. But the neat thing about cooking is that I can use cooking also to healthify this recipe. For example, I noticed that 178 calories are coming from butter. Let's see if we can make this a little healthier. What I'm going to do is edit the ingredient butter, and I'm going to change brands. With each ingredient in cooking, there's a list of brands associated with them. Butter has about 26 different brands, and I'm going to switch from Mid-America Farms, which is set as the preferred, to Viva Light Butter. And I'm going to click Preferred here and make that one now the preferred and click Save. And now I'm going to refresh my nutritional analysis and see what happens. Instead of 536 calories, it says 447. I reduced the number of calories in my recipe by simply changing from one brand of butter to another. That's pretty powerful. In fact, when we partnered with the American Diabetes Association to computerize six of their best-selling cookbooks, we had to make sure the nutritional analysis in cooking was 100% perfect. Because people with diabetes could get seriously ill or die if the nutritional analysis is wrong. So we compared each recipe with the analysis in the book. And we found that in almost all cases, it was correct. But there were a few discrepancies. So we contacted the American Diabetes Association. They put us in touch with the authors of the cookbook. And when we showed them the discrepancies, the authors of the cookbook said the reason that there's this difference is because nutritionists use average nutritional values when they do their analysis. But with cooking, we take the nutrition facts right off the label of the package. So our analysis is more accurate. So you can use cooking to analyze the nutritional value of any recipe that you put in. But that's not all. You can use cooking to analyze the nutritional value of your menus too. Here's a menu that I made called Dan's Week 1, which has food in it for one week. And now I'm going to click Nutrition on the toolbar, and cooking will add up all the ingredients and figure out the nutritional value per serving per day. And it looks like I'm a little bit over, so I'm going to have to go in and adjust my menu and eat a little healthier. But that's pretty powerful. With Cookin's nutritional analysis features, you're going to be able to healthify your recipes and eat healthier and achieve all of your dietary goals. And it's a lot of fun, too. So, enjoy.